Hello everyone and welcome to um, Dragon Age Origins. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add um, one of our um, armor mods in. Um, I wait until about close to um, the ending of Dragon Age uh, Circum the Magi um, where we get most of the armor that we're going to be using for either um, our people or ourselves. The armor is not going to overly change all that much um, but as you can see here I went to Dragon Age Package Core Override. I have a actual file for Liliana um, and I moved Liliana's armor in here and it has like the boots and the retexture and the true sacred ashes. The rest of the are just files for her um, equipment or um, romance mods or anything like that. Um, once you get them in there and then we're going to open up our Dragon Age game here. Okay, and once it opens here, we'll come back. Alright, so we're back here. Um, we're going to go to downloadable, downloadable content. And this is where it's going to have some of your mods that we saved or uploaded in the mod manager. Um, and now we're just going to look for her armor and this is it. And we're just going to select it here and hit done and resume. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright, and then the armor or the protractor armor now is battle dress of the protractor. Um, requires strength and it does require um, being a bard, but I don't see it here most of the time it does, but Hey, you know, um, that's perfectly fine. Let's get rid of these because we don't need those. I'm going to hold on to that because I would like, to, uh, our, uh, Morgan to have it here. Alright. I think we're good. All right, so let's continue here and let's get our companions and let's face off. I hope I didn't do this too soon um, because I do have times where it glitches out on me here. What do we have here? A rebellious minion? An escaped slave? <laughs> my, my. But you do have some gall. But playtime is over. You all have to go back now. Oh, here I am. And there you are. You just disappeared. Well, no matter. You tried to keep us apart. You led us from each other because you fear us, don't you? You will not hold us, demon. We found each other in this place, and you cannot stand against us! If you go back quietly, I'll do better this time. I'll make you much happier. I'm not doing anything you tell me. I could make it like the real world, if that's what you want. I could keep you happy indefinitely. Do you want that? I don't want anything you offer. Again, repeating that. I made you happy and safe. I gave you peace. I did my best for you. And you say you want to leave? Can't you think about someone other than yourself? I'm hurt. So very, very hurt. I'll take my chances. I'll do nothing you say. For the third time. And you last You wish time. to battle me? So be it. You will learn to bow to your betters, mortal. Oh, Lord.
And that's what I thought. All right. On um, it goes. Let's hope no more glitches here, guys. Sorry about that. As you say. <laughs> I never thought of, I never expected you to free yourself, to free us both. When you return, uh, take the litany of Adrala from my body. It will protect you from the worst of the blood magic. Your body? I cannot go with you. I have been here far too long. For you, it will have been an afternoon's nap. Your body won't have wasted away in the real world while your spirit lays in the hands of a demon. Uh, you think you're going to die? Every minute I was here, the sloth demon was feeding off of me. Using my life to fuel the nightmares of this realm. There is so little of me left. I was never meant to save the circle or survive its troubles. I am dying. It is as simple as that. Uh, there must be something I can do. Thank you, but it is too late for me. I do not fear what may come. They say we return to the Maker in death, and that isn't such a terrible thing. My only regret is that I could not save the Circle. But you... You can take the litany off my... my body when you return. It is important. I will do this. I'm not a hero. Perhaps trying to be one was foolish. Ordinary people can do great things when they have to. And this is true. Throughout the world, there has been ordinary people who strive to change the world and have in their own ways. And it's a great line. Dark times, greater acts of heroism, eh? You may be right. Before I was taken to the Circle, my mother said I was meant for greatness. That I would be more than my ancestors could have ever dreamed. I hope I haven't disappointed her. You didn't. It is time for us both to be on our way. Remember the litany of Adrala. The circle is all that matters now. Thank you, and goodbye, friend. I'm gonna go back to that line. Um, it it is in like history. If you ever watch like Boat Life, um, it, it's ordinary people coming together to strive to help, um, people in, in their. Um, dire need in that time. Um, I was... Good God, where was I? I was, um, I believe I was, uh, in high school. I was just finishing my, um, senior year. But, Lord, that makes me feel very, very old. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so, it is... It is something to watch if you haven't watched Boat Life. Alright, we're gonna throw this down here. 
and then kind of put them in the same aspect with all of the people. Um, and then I want my dog back. Hello. All right. So, um, she's got her outfit on now. Um, once we return to camp, uh, other parts that go with her outfit, um, we'll be able to get back in camp here. It is begun. I'll probably have all, all the dust roll stuff back again. Um, just because, well, you've seen it kind of, uh, glitch out on me here. Tap, 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 tap. So we're over here. So we don't have the Legends of Callahan Part 1? Alright, well, that's fine. So, um, Chapter 2. With the Legions of the Arrow Mandarin, Callahan began his raise to greatness. Some of the Mandarin's allies also pledged allegiance, but most thought him foolhardy. A boy common commoner was leading them and became keen. Over the years that followed, however, Callahad would prove himself worthy of Mandarin's trust. With each victory, he won over more men to his command, and his reputation as a man of honor spread. Eventually, during his campaign against the lowland Banor, he met with the most infamous friend and companion, the vault warrior Lady Shana. Callahan married the famous beauty daughter or beautiful daughter of Mandarin, Marinin, and affirmed his belief in the way of the Chantry became the staple of his court. In time when the Chantry was still new to the lands and the courts following Andras State held a majority of power in Ferelden. Callahan began solidifying the nation as one in line with the other nations around it. The petty event uh, moved one over to Callahan, those faithful in Ferelden who had been waiting for such a leader. Whoops. With Lady Ashana at his side, Callahan was unstoppable, and by 542 XL Exed exalted, sorry, the war from, or for Ferelden had become to a one final battle against the collective forces of Simon, Ten of Denerum, and the most potent noble in the lands, or in the land. Callahan persuaded the Circle of Magi to come to his aid, as well as the Ash Warriors, and in that battle of the White Valley, he famously defeated the Terran Seven and united the nation. During the battle, Seven nearly killed Callahan, but Lady Shana intervened and took the wound for, for him, slaying Seven. Callahan was crowned king in the Darnum uh, that year with Mary, his queen, but he spent much of those months that followed nursing Lady Shana back, Shana back to health. King, Helen, Cal, King Callahan's Ferelden was peaceful for a time, with chantry spreading quickly under the king's guidance. Everywhere the king and queen went, they were surrounded by cheering crowds. The common folk celebrated Callahan as one of their own who had achieved the impossible and trade opened with many outsiding lands for the first time in Ferelden's existence, but as with many such golden age, it was not to last. From the Legend of Callahan by Brother Huron, Chantry Scribe, 810 Blessed. All right. As you say. Oh. Let's see if I can remember. We read that one. Hmm. 
I believe it was this one. If your space is excused, I will surrender my quarters. It is a about money, I will hire the appropriate people. I will not graduate another student ignorant, ignorant of the weapons that any ditch digger can shove into his ribs. We teach them to append, append ridiculous clambers on parade arms, but they don't know simple steel. That is criminal, Enchanter Bird. As you say. A loyalist? Madness, I doubt blood will be used to you. If it is flowing down the tower steps, step away from this folly before it consumes us all. And chatter a little bit, loyalist. Well, I don't know. It shall be done. But I pretty sure we'll come across uh, another one and then we'll just read all through them. If not, then it's my bad. Is begun. I shall do it.
I'll save here. As you say. Is there someone over there? Oh, I hope they're still alive. <laughs> this trick again? All right, we're I know what you are. Some, it yeah, won't work. Colin I will stay here. strong. Well, she don't know him. So, um, a Templar, and it seems he's a prisoner. The boy is exhausted. And this cage, uh, I've never seen anything like it. Rest easy. Help is here. Uh, enough visions! If anything in you is human, uh, kill me now and stop this game! He's delirious. He's been tortured and has probably been denied food and water. I can tell. Here, I have a skin of... Don't touch me! Stay away! Filthy blood mages, getting in my head. Ah, uh, I will not break. I'd rather die. Um, where are the other survivors? What others? What are you talking about? Irving and the other mages who fought Aldred. Where are they? They are in the harrowing chamber. The sounds coming up from there. Oh, Maker. We must hurry. They are in grave danger. I am sure of it. You can't save them! You don't know what they've become. Um, we just can't kill them all. They've been surrounded by, by blood mages whose wicked fingers snake into your mind and corrupt your thoughts. His hatred of mages is so intense. The memory of his friend's deaths is still fresh in his mind. Yes, you have to end it now, before it's too late! I will not kill an innocent. Are you really saving anyone by taking this risk? Have, to ensure this horror is ended. To guarantee that no abominations or blood mages live. You must kill everyone up there. I'd rather spare Mofakarum than risk harming an innocent. Thank you. I knew you would make a rational decision. Rational? How is this rational? Do you understand the danger? I know full well of the dangers of magic, but killing innocents because they might be Maleficarum is not justice. I know you are angry. You know nothing! I am thinking about the future of the Circle, of Ferelden! I do not want the blood of the innocents on my hands. I am just willing to see the painful truth, which you are content to ignore! Yes, ah, but what can I do? As you can see, I am in no position to directly influence your actions, though I would love to deal with the mages myself. Uh, we'll deal with you once Aldred lies dead. My cage is Aldred's doing, or one of his mages. Once they're dead, I will be free. And then I will decide what to do with the others. Do you hear me, Colin? Control that rage. No one ever listens. Not until it's far too late. Make her turn his gaze on you. I hope your compassion hasn't doomed us all. Uh, better compassion consume me than hatred. I do love Colin, but he's going through a rough time right now. And I turn that. So horrible. No, boss. Here we go. Do you accept the gift that I offer? Intruder. 
I bid you welcome. Care to join in our revels? Yeah, let's just get this over with. I think I'll just kill you if that's all right with you. Fight if you must. Oh, I must. It will just make my victory all the sweeter. Don't forget the litany. It will thwart Aldred's attempts to control the mages and win this fight for us. Yes, thank you, Wen. Be a deer. A deer. Your turn, Liliana. Win. Your turn. Good job, team. what I like. Oh, Maker. I'm too old for this. Irving, are you all right? I've been better. But I am thankful to be alive. I suppose that is your doing, isn't it, Wynne? I wasn't alone. I had help. The Circle owes both of you a debt we will never be able to repay. Come. The Templars await. We shall let them know that the Tower is once again ours. Very well. Lead on. I'll need you to guide me down the stairs. Ugh. Curse whoever insisted the Circle be housed in a tower. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. It's very early. Irving? Maker's breath. I did not expect to see you alive. It is over, Gregor. Aldred is dead. Aldred tortured these mages, hoping to break their wills and turn them into abominations. We don't know how many of them have turned. What? Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> of course he'll say that. He might be a blood mage. Don't you know what they did? I won't let this happen again. I am the Knight Commander here, not you. Well, then, what does the Knight Commander think, then? We have won back the tower. I will accept Irving's assurance that all is well. But they may have demons within them, lying dormant, lying in wait. Enough. I have already made my decision. Thank you. You have proven yourself a friend of both the Circle and the Templars. Um, and what about the Darkspawn? I require aid. I promised you aid, but with the Circle restored, my duty is to watch the mages. They are free to help you, however. Speak to them. You mean the First Enchanter? Yes, Irving. For now, I will have to oversee a sweep of the tower. There may be some survivors, and we should do our best to tend to them. Please excuse me. And Irving, it is good to have you back. Ah. I'm sure we'll be at each other's throats again in no time. That is quite a relationship they have, which is great. Um, it, it's kind of a balance, and he seems like he's an okay gentleman. Here we are, the tower in disarray. The circle nearly annihilated. Oh, it could have been much, much worse. I am glad you arrived when you did. It's almost as though the Maker himself sent you. And you can't really say that to much of the relationship between First Enchanter and Night Commanders. Um, especially in this time, um, if you played the third one. Or the second one, you kind of know. Um, the Blight drove me here to seek aid. The least we can do is help you against the Darkspawn. 
I would hate to survive this, only to be overcome by the blight. So I have your word? You have my word, as first enchanter. The Circle will join the Grey Wardens in the fight. Irving, I have a request. I seek leave to follow the Grey Warden. Win, we need you here. The Circle needs you. I appreciate the sentiment, Irving. But the Circle will do fine without me. The Circle has you. This woman is brave and good, and capable of great things. If she will accept my help, I will help her accomplish her goals. I'd be honored to have you join me, Wen. You were never <coughs> one to stay in the tower when there was adventure to be had elsewhere. Why stay when I can be of service elsewhere? Then I give you leave to follow the Grey Warden, but know that you always have a place here. There is much to be done here, and I must go. You must forgive me for not being a proper host. I think a mosquito got me. If you hear me rustling, it's just because I got bit last night and it itches. It itches so bad. Anyway, uh. <laughs> Let's continue. Uh, I understand until we meet again. When the time comes, we will stand beside you. Perfect. Fantastic. Well, uh, that is completed. Um, we are, however, gonna go and take care of this one. Uh, watch guard of the reaching. Um, but first, let's go over here. You really killed all those abominations? I didn't think it was possible. I thought we'd all die here. <laughs> I'm sure you need supplies after that. Yes, don't please. You? All right, let's try. Particular, a nice little belt that you would have. I want to keep that because I got stuff on it. Um, uh, hold that. Uh, no. Let's get rid of that. Uh, Alistair, what do you got here? Okay, that is four. Ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve, thirteen, okay. I don't think you can hold on to that yet. No. Hold on to that then. Oh, come on. Okay, so we don't need that. Hold on to that. We don't do that. Nor do we need that, nor do we need that, or that. We'll hold on to that for a now. Sorry if you guys are annoyed with my mumbling while I'm selling. I'm just walking through the steps here. And I hate all these negative things, so I get rid of those. I know, I know, I probably should hold on to them, but I don't like them. that one. 
Let's throw that on. Oh. Your defense sucks. Okay. You're not getting that one. Okay. Yes, good boy. Okay. Now let's go ahead and take care of the watch guard. So what do you think will happen to all those people yeah. we left behind in Lothering? Some of them will find their way to Denerim. Many will die, as the Maker wills. Don't you wish you could have stayed there? To help more people, I mean. If the blight isn't stopped, Everyone will die. This is the greater good we're serving, both of us, right here. So it's all right to let some people die for the greater good? I'm... not so sure about that. I felt bad leaving all those people there. All panicked and helpless. You're doing what you must, Alistair. There will be worse to come yet. You will need to steal yourself. You know this. I've never been very good at that. The stealing myself part. <laughs> I find it better sometimes to just be a little weak. I'm all right with that, really. I don't believe you. And either way, it's not as if any of us has a choice. Correct. I don't know if I have the strength for another big battle. The Grey Warden saved us. Fighting the Blight is the least we can do. True. The Circle has always played a part in defeating the Blights. This is our chance to show that we will fight and die for our home, just like any other Ferelden. Good girl. All right. Let's do this, let's do this. Please don't let any of these guys die, especially the children. Had that happen before. Oh, you don't. Pure, literal distraction. So that thing was just random thought? How powerful were the minds that unleashed it? <sighs> what do I want next? I want this one next. Okay. <laughs> Miss Morgie. Don't do it. Okay. It is begun. And here we are. Uh, I could never say this name right, um, or any other names <laughs> if you haven't heard much. Um, Yusra, the Dragon Slayer. In the company of monsters, he went down the down the empty wolf roads after the dragon to the lands where the ice is like steel, and the air grows thin as a, a beggar, and every rock rocky path is shrewd with the bones of a lonely dead. The Dane dweller and fifty swords were worn to rusted ruin. Before at last they found the cave of Fenchel, agent keeper of the mountains, bane of wolves. Dane sought a way in which the dragon might be fueled. Fiend of fire and talons, its scales brighter than any warrior's maul, teeth greater than men, and all around the slumbering worm were bones. Wolves, men, beasts beyond counting, the fume of the death frightened even the wolf pack. And Dane, desperate, 
creeped into the caverns to seek the monster's death alone. There, shining among the dead like a star, his hand found a sword, Usura, forged by dwarves smiths from an Anamani lord long ago, waiting age after age to be taken to the battle once more, and the stain freed them from the earth and struck at the eye of the dragon still sleeping, with swift and terrible blow. A flash awoke, wrath only died from the Dane and the werewolf. The legend of the blade usurer predates Andrastade, the sword that Dane found in the dragon's treasure hoard, which he used to slay both Fenchel and the werewolf, was passed on to his son Hefter. Dane may have been fiction, but Hefter was fact. In 140 Divine, he led the Amaranthi tribes against the darkspawn that flooded into the Ferelden Valley from the Dwarven lands. He not only drove back the horde, he also defeated the combined forces of the Avars and the Chasen who hoped to take advantage of the chaos. His victories earned him such a respect from his tribe, from tribes, that he was named the first Terran. After years of ruling the valley in peace, it is said that Hefter left Ferelden, sailing into the unknown east of Amaranthine's oceans, with the blade still in hand, never to be seen again. Uh, the Lintony of Adrella. Adrella of Ventium by Drentium dedicated her life to study of blood magic, the arch the academic study rather than practice. A deeply pious mage, she was renowned in her days for having founded a counter to every form of mind control, a defense against dream walkers, and even encountered spells to demonic summons. Her efforts went unappreciated in her native Deventer, however, after three different manager, uh, man Manchester's attempted to have her killed. She fled the country, choosing to take refuge in the land of the Blessed Andraste's birth. She spent the remaining of her days with the circle in Ferelden. The length of the Audrata disrupts the casting of mind control spells. Use the lengthy whenever a creature tries to dominate another with magic, and it will interrupt the casting. Once the spell is in effect and the character is under a blood magic power, <coughs> Ooh, excuse me, sorry about that. It is too late. Oh goodness, forgive me. Sorry about that. Dragon, dragonlings. Newly hatched dragons are roughly the size of deer and virtuously, viciously hungry. They live a short time in their mother's lair before venturing out on their own. The slender, wingless creatures are born in the vast number, as only a few ever make it to adulthood. Pride Demon Let me explain what it is to face a pride demon, my friends. You may scoff and say that our talents exist only to face mages, but you will encounter demons often. They will be summoned by Mephiclarum and bound to his building, and while at time they will be forced into possessions of the whole, of a host, they will also face in their true form a powerful opponent indeed. Do not underestimate it. Pride is a powerful and intelligent. When we have encountered one in its true form, its most common attack are bolts of fire and ice. Friendly they will use to burn an opponent, and magical flame will combust anything you wear regardless of, of it make. Ice will be used to freeze an opponent in place, be cautious, for they enjoy imploding this against warriors in particular more than one group of Templars have made the mistake of attempting to overwhelm a pride demon and suffer the consequences. Believe me, 
And if you think that having the aid of other mages will assist you, you are wrong. Pride demons can render themselves immune to magic for short times, and they are and are adept to dispelling the magic that is cast upon you, as much as we Templars are able to disrupt spells. Think on that for a moment, my friends. Be wary of how prideful you become, lest you find too much in the common which such a fame. Transcript of a lecture given by Fern, Templar commander of Tenebel, 686 Steel. Okay. First Enchanter Irving. The circle will go on and we will learn from this tragedy and be strengthened by it. There is no higher office in the circle tower than the First Enchanter. The one who holds this title must not only be an able administrator, but also a mentor, a leader, and a surrogate parent to all the mages of the tower. Irving has proven himself to be all these things with a, an added dose of cunning. Most apprentices know that little goes on in the tower that Irving does not know. He can sue Templar's angers by some childish magical prank at the same time that he lulls the pranksters, and everyone walks away satisfied. Although much of the circle was destroyed by Aldred's abominations, Irving survived in the plans to rebuild what he can. When I will not lie motionless in a bed, with culvets up to my chin, waiting for death to claim me. Wynne's talents become apparently early on, particularly her skills at healing magic. She was well liked by all her mentors, and was recognized as an exceptionally gifted student. Even the Templars who watched her could not deny that she present represented the best uh, the circle had to offer. She was an intelligent young woman who possessed a, quite, a quiet confidence and maturity beyond her years. She spent many years mentoring apprentices within the circle, and her peers thought so highly of her that she was asked to be First Enchanter's Irving's successor, but she refused, saying that she had no desire to work in a the upper echelons. When word reached the tower of King Callahan's call to the arms, Wynne volunteered to go to Ostagar. For Wynne, the printed word is a window to true understanding. A scholar by heart, she feels that what a people commit to the pages is sacred by definition. Let's see, what do we have? I'm pretty sure that we did the most of it. We didn't do the Shaha Ward, a collection of powerful but undirected thoughts cold stayed in the fade. Such a being is in a direct opposition to a singular force and drag. Distractions made flesh, the mind or minds that loose this within the fade must have been powerful and ancient indeed. All right, we don't need to read controllers. Okay. All right, peeps, let's head back. We got some armor and weapons to do. And then we'll go ahead and end that episode. Or this episode, sorry. A blight. How will you end it? Oh, Sten. Uh, why do you ask? You say you are a Grey Warden. I have heard stories of this order. Wait, you doubt I'm really a Warden? Great strategists and peerless warriors. That is what we hear of the Wardens. So far, I am not impressed. <laughs> He's just trying to get under my skin. We're not going to let him do that. Uh, I'm not here to impress you. Evidently not. It remains only to see what you are here for. 
and we got approval. Yeah. You know, just be direct with him. He likes directness. Leveling up. Okay, so Stan is getting this. There's other ones that will come that she more likely will serve better with. And you can't hold on to these quite yet. Where are you at? Okay. And because we chit chat you, you unexpected. Can have that. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Now, let's run over here. And here is some more mods, people. Um level up things. I don't normally do any of that. Um Unless I'm playing really, really hard well. setting, and then I will take it. Um, but yeah, as you say. All right, now. Um, I'm gonna throw. Okay, I use the brine rock um, basically to um, store any gifts, and this way we don't have to do soldier peak right away. Um, weapon rack, we will scroll that in there these in here for when the ladies upgrade and just in case I want to substitute them. 40 and 33. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. I may forget. I always forget. And one of those. Oops. And we're saving that. We're saving that. Okay. Yeah. 
I could do the storage chest too, but eh, we really don't need it. Enchantment? I want some enchantment. Enchantment! Okay. All right. Oh. Enchantment? My bad. Enchantment! Okay. Oh, where are you? There you are. Let's try this again here. Slow and fire. Let's just throw the fire in. We got that one. Rune. Uh, let's give you some extra resistance. And we're throwing you on. Perfect. Okay. Are you sure I can't interest you in this hat? A pair of earrings, perhaps? A cheese knife? One moment, guys. I got, I got a, somebody in the front door. Um, I'm thinking it's just a package, but I'll be right back. Okay, I do apologize. It's going to be a I'm sure you'll be Oops. pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected. And with your discount. Again, I'm going to repeat. Um, I do apologize. It's going to be a long episode. Uh, there is stuff that I want to do here. Um, Even when I did not click, I still got this, but that's okay. Now we need to find... That's so weird. I was sure that we had... this for now. It's not something that I want. I'm a little peeved. I don't know why it's doing what it is. But anyway, um, Bard's Dancing Shoes. The ruler of the grand game, game are clear. Anything goes if nobles cannot obtain the heights of prestige in the court by purchase, alliance, or deeds. He can always obtain it by removing his rivals. In this, bards have always been invaluable or lesions cannot do without music and dancing. Even when they know that half of the musicians in their ballroom are spies in the employ of the, their enemies, they welcome the scandals with open arms. In fact, they make music and musicians so much more popular, for it makes the game more exciting. Oh, 
Okay, um, so at the end here. For when the printed word is the window to, to understanding the scholar, blah, 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 blah. blah. I'm not quite sure why that one updated. I'm sure I'm missing something, but that's okay. Okay. Alistair. Oh, okay. Maybe I don't need you. And we're gonna have to work on you. Looks funky, but hey. That's fine. For now. Huh. Okie dokie then. <laughs> If there's anything I can do for you, please, I'm sure. Shall be done. It is begun. Should be fine now, huh? I shall do it. All right. Now. Commander. 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 Okay. Where are you at now? So, damage is 1290, 10, 11, 12, okay, that's fine. 
Enchantment? Enchantment! Oh, I forgot that I had that. Okay. Slow. Frost. And I want. Where'd you go? Am I missing it? Yeah. Oh, guys. I am almost done, I promise. Let's see here. You and your friends are formidable folk, indeed. It's good to have you along on the road. Let me see your I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected. And with your discount. Okay. Gone to you. Alright guys. Now. Welcome to our finished project. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. We will um, come back next episode, talk to some companions, and continue. Thank you guys for enjoying and watching. Um, we'll see you next time.